greeting. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I started way too early before the thing. Well, that's a messed up intro. Well, it, it's because this is my. Oh my god. Okay. So this is my second attempt trying to record a tutorial. Um, shout out to uh, Scotty's video game channel and B Robinson for inspiring me. Inspiring me to do this tutorial. So. If you came here for another bus video or rigs of rods or whatever, just me showing off stuff, go ahead and exit this video immediately because I'm just wasting your time. So what you need to have right now is the whole thing sketched out. Um, by the way, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be using this um, in the final example. Uh, just just say that um, we have it all sketched out. So let's say that. This was a school. I know it's not a school, but let's pretend. And I wanted to go ahead and do a little sp um, speed limit sign for it. So I just go ahead and sketch up the following, like so. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna retexture it because, yeah, it, I'm gonna be undoing all of these changes. So. Let me just go ahead and do this really quick. Oh my god. Okay. So let me go ahead and go through some of the steps while I'm doing this. Okay. So um, step one is while you're crafting. Not <laughs> crafting. I'm sorry, but I'm just so pumped up to do this thing. So let's get right into it. And please bear with me because I'm doing this for famous people in QISD. And you know I'm getting too I'm getting a little too hyped, you know. So let's skip all the bull crap. So let's say I wanted to make uh, one of those speed school zone signs that you know kind of flash. So I crafted this thing up. Don't use the materials. So let's say I just wanted a circle to flash yellow. So I would just craft it like so. Excuse me if I say craft, I mean sketch it up. So it would be like this, right? I know it's terrible, <laughs> but um, let's say I wanted this to light up. Okay, this this leads us right into step one. Go ahead and go into your material files and assign it a material that you have not used for the whole thing. So I haven't used roofing tile Spanish, so we're going to go ahead and fill that in. The reason that I say that is because when, once you're, um, another step will be to check the mesh.xml file. So, yeah, and then, like, you want the mesh to be separate, with this to be separate from the road. Because let's say I textured this and this the same thing, I just renamed the thing and, like, added an animation to it to flash yellow. All, everything that is black or grayish will be flashing black and yellow whatever so that's the first step just texture it something that you did not use in your sketchup model so the second thing is re remember remember the title so this is going to be roofing tile spanish keep that in mind so like if you wanted to do like let's ju let me just sketch something up really quick if you wanted to have like alternative lights then let's say that would be an alternative light so when this is on this is off and when this is on this is off go ahead don't texture the same material just find another material that you didn't use in a lot so i, I mean in your model i'm sorry <laughs> so i didn't use this so i'll be doing that as well so yeah it's gonna be, so yeah that's that's the full sketch up thing after you do that go ahead and export it I'm pretty sure you already know how to export if you're viewing this um, tutorial so quick I mean still so don't mind any of these other files um, I'm just modding stuff for United Patreon transportation and you know so Step two is the, not step two. Three. This has to deal with the mesh.xml file. So after you do do that, go in your SketchUp exports file folder. Why did I put that in front? 
and keep and remember when I said in step one the, or step two to paste the material that you did not use in the hold section well that's what you're gonna do well, that's what you're gonna do is look it up so I I um, used roofing tile Spanish I'm sorry if I'm speaking a whole light a whole lot off I'm just so excited to be doing this for so like so many popular people and I hope to see this in the QISD map so I'm sorry if I'm going too fast for you you can go ahead and slow down the video stop the video if you want to like try to pace yourself or something like that but let's keep going so remember when I textured that thing roofing tile Spanish that was the material name you're gonna go ahead and look for it up here it was roofing tile Spanish of course in my screen you're not gonna find it but in yours you will find it go ahead and rename it to like wig wag or something like that and then remember that other material and this is not mandatory this is for if you want an alternative lights remember that other material that yeah that other material that I put in that wasn't assigned to the lot I think it was like some blue thing but I forgot anyways you should remember it by now go ahead and type the name let's say I'm let's say I did it metal seamed and once again in my screen is saying it's not there but it will show up then I wouldn't rename the sub mesh material wigwack 2 so once you did that and once you go ahead and do that with your sub mesh material names go ahead and save it exit out I press don't save because I don't need it and then convert it to a mesh and that's all you need to do now let's say now this is part three the ma actual material file so we're gonna open this up and you're gonna keep scrolling down and all of a sudden you're gonna run into names like roofing light those names that I have told you to put in there that you didn't need such as like roofing tiled Spanish and that blue thing I forgot you go you can go ahead and rename it wigwag and wigwag too remember I told you to name it the same thing in the mesh file go ahead and do the same thing in the material file you'll definitely need it why did I just do that okay so now this is the part I recommend go going into a bus I'm gonna use my PAX um, handicap CEs and then I'm gonna I'm just gonna find a file like so flares there we go so you see all this it doesn't have to be that specific but yeah something simple like this so I'll co go ahead copy from the first bracket behind the first bracket right here all the way up until you reach the second bracket I forgot to mention this earlier but it open the material files with notepad or, or whatever so go ahead control C it so you can copy it and then select the same thing again and then paste it now obviously you won't be using the ambers unless you want your things to um, be like LED ish so just rename it like something like orangey and orangey off or something like that so this is how oh I'm running out of time in the free banding cam so this is how oh my god <laughs> I'm so sorry, my, my mouse is acting up. So this is how Wigwag and Wigwag 2 should look like. If it's not, um, like, if you're doing one flare, if, if it's just a simple thing, then you should be doing that. Hold on for a second, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. And then I'm going to get right into the second part of this video. Alright, you didn't know... I just started the second half so like I was saying I have to join these two videos apart I mean yeah it's just a whole lot of editing stuff so now if you wanted it to be 
you know, back and forth, back and forth, alternative, go ahead, copy the whole thing, place it again, and remember to name it RigWack2, or whatever it was that, that you named in the mesh file. So, and then instead of having the same thing, you will put orangey off and orangey. And see, when, when this thing is on, this thing is off, and when this thing is on, that is off. So that's basically the whole thing. Now we're going to move into part four. Yeah. Hold on, guys. We're almost done. So what you're going to go ahead and do is go to your files. I recommend getting going into a SketchUp file in my Windows things. And SketchUp exports. Just borrow something that you know you won't use. I mean, that, that was left out or whatever. I'm sorry. If I'm making this so complicated, you can ask me for more details in the comment section, and I will be more than happy to help out. So now you got Paint.net uploaded, right? I mean, not uploaded. <laughs> Once again, if I mess up on anything, I'm so sorry. I'm just pumped up. And I apologize for my Discord thing that just popped up right there. If you didn't see it, that's good. So, orangey, we're going to go ahead and it around here cop oh my god no okay um yeah then once you do you're gonna go ahead and save the file as orangey control to do this hold control shift and s and it will load up like this make sure that it still say says jpeg or jpeg or whatever and rename it orangey I'm gonna press cancel, but you you gotta press save. And then when the light is off, you want it to be dark. Oh my god, you want it to be dark. So yeah, you know, it, it's off. You shouldn't see it. That and then go ahead, do the same thing. Control Shift S and do orangey off. Go ahead and save it. I'm just gonna click cancel. I am so sorry if I'm not making any sense. Once again, you can ask me down in the comments section. Um, and I will be gladly available to assist. Okay, so after you've done all that, just put it in the map that you're going to use. Especially, yeah, because you want it to load up in Toolkit. So now I'm going to go ahead and pause the video because I'm going to need Toolkit to load up faster. And yeah, while it's loading everything, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna pause the video right back. I'm pause the video, and then once we get back, I don't have any apps around. Go fast. Okay, just make it short because I don't want to give out any private information. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pause it, and then once it loads, I'm gonna bit, I'm gonna unpause it, and we're gonna finish this thing up. Alright, so toolkit is loaded, but real quick, if you're not in the hangout section, then go ahead and join. Um, you know, I'm just featuring a whole lot of people right here. But, yeah. It's really fun over here. Yeah, you know, talking to each other and stuff. We got, we, guys, we got the real VIPs of RR here. Just, I know, you're here for the tutorial, but wait one second. But wait, just wait one second. Unless you want to just go ahead and skip in the video. We got a whole lot of people. And I'm proud. I'm proud. Thanks, thanks guys who joined. There are two people who I want to shout out right now. It's B. Robinson right here. Oh, I'm not going to show us. I probably did. But it's B. Robinson. And where can I find them? Oh, this is another person that I want to give a shout out to. And also, last but not least, one of my most favorite YouTubers. And he's not in chat. <laughs> well, it's Scotty, but it's Scotty. But I don't, I don't see him. But I'll, I'll check it out. Anyways, our hangout is getting a whole lot of. 
people who join in light, if you're not in the hangout, uh, uh, you're just missing out because I'm just posting a whole lot of packs. Thomas3800 packs, shout out to Volk. Posted my first map. And then, uh, what the freak? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay, we're gonna go right back into the tutorial right now. But I just wanted to say, shout out, shout out all these people who joined, man. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, thanks for joining. Anyways, we're back into the tutorial section, and let's say I just wanted to, yeah, load this up. Let's say that you already threw it. Okay, don't mind everything. This is my map that I'm working on right now. Still, a whole lot of stuff has to be done to it. So, um, what I'm gonna do is okay. I posted it here somewhere, but okay. So here's how it should look like or act like once it's done. This is the actual thing that I've done. You can see it's flashing. It's a terrain object, and it'll keep on flashing. Disclaimer though, I'm so sorry. It does not sync up in multiplayer. It acts just like these traffic lights over here. That it's way unsynced. So if you're doing traffic lights, then just be warned that it's not gonna sync up. So yeah, it should it should do like that. And then if you did the uh, what's it called the uh, alternative style then it should act like just like I did to my lot just notice how one when one's on the other is off and when one and this one's on when this one's on the other one is off so I was just messing around with these things a little bit I'm sorry if I confused you with you know this much but I hope to see this like in a QISD map like when they come in through here and then it's like just a flashlight or whatever. You know. But it would be really awesome to see in other maps. Yeah. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Also, this map will be coming out soon. It's a beta version. But look at all what we have in store. Like actual realistic roads. You know. It, it looks so awesome. So thanks. Once again, thanks guys for watching. Subscribe if you... If you not subscribed <laughs> because we we reached 200 subscribers a while ago but we're making it up there and i want to say thanks to everyone new who subbed like the link and it, it was it's a few other people out but i'll shout you out in other videos once again thanks for watching subscribe if you're not subscribed and if i if i discover something new oh one more thing one more thing i'm so sorry you could also do AO base like this as well. Like, it, 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 once you learn this, it's really awesome to do. Okay, I'm so sorry for the Discord chat. <laughs> but it's, it's really awesome to do. So, yeah, once you learn and master it, yo, you, you're a pro, you know? So, once again, subscribe if you're not subscribed. But like the video. If I confuse you at any point, let me know in the comment section on what I need to emphasize on more. And then I'll, I'll truly help you out there. So thanks for watching. More videos are going to come out soon on this map and on the bus fleet that I'm doing. And yeah, see you guys later.